Welcome to Shrimp Coverlet, where we squeeze the bigger picture of literature. It is a Thursday. What does that mean, Dalton? It's variety hour. It is it's variety, variety hour. hour. It's the first variety hour we've had in a very long time. I, I don't even know the numbers anymore, so I'm just going to say this is variety hour. This is variety hour number one. Number we're gonna, one. We're going to reboot. A fresh start. Fresh start. Uh, and if you're not familiar with variety hour, because apparently it's been missing for a while, I, I don't think we talk of anything structured here. No. This is laid back. This is Adrian and Dalton laid sitting. Laid back. Complaining about life. Discussing what's going on. With our minds on our money and our money on our minds. I love that song. Thank you very much. That is one <laughs> of my weaknesses in life is that song. Thank you. We should have gin and juice on. They, you, you know, they play it. There's a, there's, a, there's a station in Kansas City where they play it at like 1240 every night. Okay. Uh, you only know this when you work overnight. There is a remix of it because we live in the Midwest where it is a country remix of Gin and Juice. Really? It is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. It kills me as a person anytime I have to sit through it. Yeah. Anyway. Is there I, anything you wanted to talk about? I, I, what should we talk about? Uh, well, first off, don't think you're going to barge back onto the set after a year and a half and present topics. Uh, I kind of figured this was where this was going. Yeah. We've got things Adrian wants to talk about. Okay. you got to take the back seat. All right. Um, first off, the seating arrangement. I think it looks nice. Um, that was your old side. That was the side you used to sit on. Yeah. How come you get to sit there still? Don't you? <laughs> it's like when you go to a restaurant and the bathrooms are set up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, because this is my good side. Is that your good side? It's all right, though. This is my better side. Do you know how they say bathrooms are always set up in a restaurant? No. Men go to the left because women are always on the right. So I just, you know. Well, from the camera's point of view. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> we set it up right. <laughs> so, you were my tech guy. Okay. You know that. Adrian Ford has editing skills, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you've been gone for a year. I've got some questions for you. Wait. Wait on me. been saving these. The circle thing on Instagram. There's a circle on Instagram? The, the circle thing on Instagram. What is, what is that? So you can click on people's faces up at the top. Okay. There's circles that have people's faces, and they you click on them, and there's like a special link to a special privileged, uh, like, so you, you post the pictures on Instagram, right? Okay. The ones that you press their faces up on the circles are not the ones that come up on your feed. I am not versed well with Instagram. I don't Instagram on my own personal accord, so I, I don't know. For once, you may be more versed in this than I am, because you know what You it know the, cir the circle things. I, I feel like I need to like pull out my phone real quick. When and, like, you pull up, up the Instagram. application, there's like, so you've got your feed, right? Okay. You've got all the people's pictures. All right. Up at the top, there's little, there's little icons of your, the people you follow. Is it like a link to their feed, or is that like their profile picture? Or? I think it's their profile picture, okay. but you touch it, and it is a temporary type photo. Okay. Uh, maybe it's like a 24-hour feed thing. Like, you can add this to your story. That comes from Snapchat, where for 24 hours, this is part of your story, so you can click it, and that's what we got for this 24 hours, but it'll change. Is that maybe what it is? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. What, is, what is a snack chat? Uh, we're going to get you on the Snapchat sometimes. It's going to be a thing. I'm excited for it. Next tech question. So, no, no, hold on. Uh, what I have learned about the little circle dealies okay. is that apparently <laughs> those give you a direct link to someone's DMs. Okay. So if creepy old man Adrian slipped into your DMs, he did not know... <laughs> This was what was happening for a very long time on this application. I thought it was like commenting on a status update. I thought that's what it was. Okay. I didn't know, so I apologize? There's a, uh, a good genre of, it's humor on the internet. It's called like old people Facebook. And like, I feel like you're primed for it. I think it is. Because it's like somebody posts a status, they're like, had steak and potatoes for dinner, Uncle Paul's dead. <laughs> like, that's it. <laughs> like, I think it's right up your alley, man. That is Adrian Fort. What else you got for me? Um, so along, that, along those lines, I shut down my Facebook. Okay. I did this before the Facebook craze. Okay. I just want to say this is an internet fad that I was ahead the curve of. Adrian started the fad. Look at you. Uh, I'm not going to go that far. I, uh, I, I'm not going to get into the fine details of Facebook and all that, but, like, I still have a Facebook because, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I shut it down. Here's why I shut it down, actually. Um, I hadn't updated m my status mm -hmm. in like eight months. Okay. You haven't updated your profile picture in like six years. Like there's a very masculine fit Adrian Fort with a good jawline and a tan. You can kiss an ass, but also they started emailing me. Okay. Saying you haven't updated your status. You haven't updated your status. We need to know more about you, Adrian. So I was like, okay, I'm going to delete this. Okay. <laughs> I'm not dealing with this. this. This all goes back, like I tried to get Adrian into a fantasy football league of mine once. And in 24 hours, I put him in the group chat. And within 24 hours, maybe even less, he's like, yeah, I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm out. I've gotten at least nine text messages in the last 30 seconds. I'm out. It wasn't even, I think it was like, I think it was like six in the day and a half. And I was yeah. like, can't do it. Nope. Can't nope. do it. Cannot it's too much. This. It's too much interaction. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I, so, so I, I, but anyway, after you shut down your Facebook, and I bet this is not the case anymore because this is prevalent now, shutting down your Facebook, you shut down your Facebook and Facebook sends you an email saying something along the lines of you have to log in to shut down your Facebook. Okay. Well, when you shut down a Facebook, they don't shut it down. No, it still exists. They just, it, so it's, it's still there. It's just inactive yes. until you log in again. Yes. Rope you back in. Right. Wheel you in. So you would, I shut it down. They sent me the email saying you have to do X, Y, and Z to shut it down. So I log back in. And there's none of those things, but there's always, there's all of a sudden other, uh, uh, what is it called when they... Uh, statuses. Not fees. statuses. Uh, notifications. Okay. There's notifications saying, hey, you missed this. <laughs> Come back, Adrian. We missed you. So you shut it down again, and they send you an email. Okay. So it was like a 30 minute, it's like, I want this thing and go on. It, it's kind of like, I, I go to the casinos on occasions, just got back from a trip to Las Vegas. And, like, when you don't go for two or three months, they'll start mailing you stuff. And they'll be like, hey, Dalton, haven't seen you in a while. You're an ingrate. How about $50 on the house to come back and play? And I'm like, that's worth $50. Yeah, free $50. I'll go spend that. You go there. You lose it in two minutes. You're like, oh, I should probably win more now that I'm here. I've made the trip. <laughs> well, I, I made well. a trip. Yes, yeah. We're here. We'll do this. <laughs> it's all about roping you back in. It's consumerism. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Twitter? I still don't understand Twitter, and, like, I've been away from it since I left the channel. So, like, I, I don't know if Twitter's changed as well, but, like, you've always had the Twitter gusto. I started Twitter um, as a part of the atheist sphere. Okay. Um, Twitter has since become a cesspool. All right. Like, it used to be a lot of bloggers would be on there. Okay. And you'd write a sensible article. Someone would like it. They would retweet it. And you would get more readers that way. That's a good thing. It, that is not what Twitter is anymore. I don't understand Twitter. I think I've like updated it three times in the last year and a half. And I'm like, I'm always, I'm like, hey, I'm going to get back on the Twitter wagon. I'm going to do this. And then like six months later, I'm like, shit, I forgot to post on Twitter for the last six months. <laughs> I bet nobody did anything on there. It could be an absolutely useful and, and beneficial platform. Okay. But it's just not. It's just not. It's just, it's just, it's a cesspool. Okay. It is a cesspool. All right. Um, so apparently, so I've got one more, one more item. I'm still in the back seat. Let's, apparently, let's this. this happens like every six months. I get a question. I got to write it down. Carry this around with me. Okay. Uh, I got a new phone. Proud of you. Uh, it's because my old one died. Okay. Like absolutely died. It would. It. I was using it. I think I was sending a text message. Booted up. What? So it gets to the home screen, and boots up. Okay. What? Infinite loop. It's Infinite done. loop. Um, which, by the way, I've got like four phone numbers now because that phone ate all my numbers. Okay. And my, I guess my, it wouldn't communicate with my uh, Dealy Bob new phone. Yeah. And that was in January. Uh, it was the last week of December, maybe. Um, five months ago, and no one has texted me. I think I sent you a message in like maybe January, right around then, maybe even December, uh, because you had just like done some like audio changes on the channel. I was watching. You're like, make sure you let me know how it's doing. I see I send you something like, hey, audio actually sounds really good. I hate you. And I just get back, who the hell is this? <laughs> well, never 
<laughs> I couldn't. I didn't. I didn't have anybody. I didn't I have I anybody. Even like, I finished it with like, "I love you, Pookie," and you're like, "Who the hell is this?" Yeah, like, well, oh, you got me, somebody else in your life now. I see how this is. Let me tell you. Mm. Uh, uh, I, it was like three months before I had my mother's number. Like my mother didn't text message me for a quarter of a year. Okay, have I told um, this story before? Like the tornado I slept through. No. So I was living down on a, a lake in St. Joseph, the, the Lake Contrary, if you're familiar with that. Uh, I, contrarily, I am not. Fair enough. Uh, I was renting this cabin, and my cousin owned the house next door. Horrible storm one night. Like, I remember waking up, and, like, the roof is rattling. I'm like, well, this is how I go. I'm not going to get up. Going back to bed. So I wake up next morning, go out in the front yard. There are trees knocked over, uprooted. Trailers have blown off into the lake. There is a guy sitting on his couch waiting for the news people because he's going to be on the television. That's how it was. And my cousin's like, how did you sleep through this? Like, my phone is blown up. Everybody, like, thinks we're dead. All this. Nobody will stop calling. And I'm like, oh, shit. I should probably go check mine. Nope. Nothing. No missed calls. Not even a text. <laughs> Your mom and dad were like, he's got life insurance, right? Like, there's a policy the on this, isn't there? factors of this? <laughs> like, this could be profitable. <laughs> Um, so with this new phone, okay. I accidentally, apparently, pressed the color inversion button. Okay. Do you know what that is? All right, like the, did you change like the black to the white? And, it like... makes it a photo negative. Okay. I walked around probably five weeks thinking my screen was broken. <laughs> thinking that there, there, I have broken my screen already. So uh, I am going to have to save money now and buy another phone. Okay. Because the phones, this one was the lowest, the lowest grade one I could, I could buy at the time, two hundred fifty bucks. Okay. Like what the, what the hell? Who, who has, who, who can buy phones now? That's why all people have are phones. They got phones and a rickety car. <laughs> like that's expensive phones and rickety cars. That's this generation. That's fair. And uh, for a, at least a month, I walked around with my phone on color inversion. Why, is there a color inversion button? I would assume people who have difficulty seeing the normal color. You can see it easier opposite of possibly, what it is? Possibly. No. Okay. That seems Tell stupid. Me why, Adrian? I, I don't know. Oh, I, I, I'm I, I asking. my assumption to that. Your assumption is stupid. Okay, fair enough. There is no... Why is there a color inversion button that people can accidentally press? Maybe some people like it better that way. It's edgy. It's different. That's some people what like... we live in no. now. No. You're not watching YouTube on color inversion and enjoying hair. it. I've been trying not to this entire time. <laughs> so he, he <laughs> I'm sitting here in my apartment on set because it's the only place in my apartment. I live in a studio waiting for Dalton to show up today. And I hear what sounds like show tunes, it was show tunes. being blasted. And I'm like, well, there's Dalton. So I step outside and I'm looking down at Dalton getting out of his car, and I'm already shaking my head. And uh, Dalton steps out of his car, and he's parked right next to an SUV-type vehicle. And he stands up tall and proud, looking directly into the windows of that SUV-type vehicle. Like this, like this, like this. He primps the hair, he pulls some back, he poofs it. I swear poof. to God. Poof. He poofs like a clown nose. <laughs> he poofs it. And then he nods his head and looks directly at me as if he knew I was there. No shame. None whatsoever. Zero shame. None whatsoever. Shows up, shows up to the theme of show tunes, prims his poof, and then he looks up at me with a... <laughs> Some people have like a good audio system in their car. I've always wanted to get one with like really thumping bass and play nothing but like 1950s show tunes. Yeah. Like just roll up to some good old show tunes. You, you almost have to. I think I have to. Like I really want to go in like downtown Kansas City and just start blasting guys and dolls and just see what happens. Well, in downtown Kansas City, no one will bat an eye. This is true. This is true. You, you, there's like a three block radius downtown where you can do anything. I worked... Um, I worked downtown in that like three block radius mm -hmm. for a few days, uh, filling in at a location. Okay. And there was a woman, there was a woman in a fishnet shirt. All right. Just walking around in it, four in the afternoon, 
Okay. And you see that what happens. No matter who you are, you do one of these. Right? So I like I'm standing there like this, and this woman's eight, nine people back. Just transfixed, right? Okay. I, I, I've never, I've, what is going on right now? This isn't Titty City. Like, you can't walk around like that. And sh she's wearing this leather jacket. What's it called? On, 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 yeah, which is obviously pulled open to her shoulders. Yeah. And she does one of these. Looks up, sees me making eye contact, not with her eyes. And she... <laughs> Pulls her jacket and gives me the head flip. Well, obviously like, I'm the seen. asshole here. Holy shit. I, I just said I just left Las Vegas. I was there maybe a week, two weeks ago. And, like, maybe I'm just desensitized. Because have you ever been to Vegas? Uh, I've not. That's an experience where you just stumble out of a building because they're all connected at 5 o'clock in the morning. You're still drinking because they're still serving. And the sun's starting to come up and it, the people are just in the streets. They don't sleep. They're keep, they're still moving. You might see somebody passed out on the street. It's fine. They'll wake up. Just push them over. It's not a city for me. That was a rough week. I don't need that ever again. So I'm probably going in a couple months. Yeah, that's because you are a victim of your own vices. I, I am. I love my vices. I like this hair. <laughs> this is yeah, 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 this is yeah, yeah. I'm so proud of myself because like I still work the same place I used to work, and they still have a very conservative dress code. Beard has to be a half inch, neatly trimmed. Done. Hair is supposed to be military style. Done. Yeah. I've got this. I'm proud of myself. I take the beads out when I go to work, at least. So, like, that's something. Hide it under a hat. I like, do. Okay. I put on a stocking cap, which, like, is out <laughs> to here at this point. And, like, everybody's like, what's under that? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah, it'll be all right. All right, so what have you you've been doing, Adrian? I've been away for a while. Where has Adrian been? I haven't moved. What do you mean? Fair enough. Like, I, at one point in time, I'm in your apartment, and we're taking a break from filming, and I, like, nonchalantly reach where there should be a lighter. And On I'm the like, window oh, ledge. It moved. <laughs> this is horse shit. There's supposed to be a lighter right here. So, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, uh, there was about two months where I, I sat here doing videos okay. uh, without recording. <laughs> so uh, I thought the camera automatically turned on. That was always your job. Fair I don't enough. know how I was supposed to figure that out. You didn't leave a memo when you left or anything. Um, I went to uh, Colorado at one point, right? I didn't ask. Okay, I'm telling you anyway. Uh, we went to a wolf sanctuary and paid a good deal of money. Wolf Blitzer? Not the Wolf Blitzer, like Wolf Wolf. To go hang out with woof, woof. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Yeah. <laughs> So we, we, we pay this money, like, we go to this sanctuary, and it's a good thing. They, you know, take in wolves that have been, like, uh, ripped from their habitat. They told us one story that, like, some college guys had gotten a hold of a wolf <laughs> and had it living in their dorm room, like, just feeding it college cafeteria food until they're like, no, this isn't really working out now, is it? Full blood, like, full blood wolf in the dorm. And, you know, these people had taken it in and given it a home. Uh, but yeah, like I went and did that. It was a fun experience, but like it is completely unnerving when you pay someone money and they're like, okay, go in the cage now with the giant live animal. And I'm like, so you got like anything to protect me here? If like he decides that like he doesn't want the mouse that I'm giving him, he just wants me. They're like, well, we have this, it's a bitter agent. It's like lemon juice. We just kind of spray them with it. So if the animal which could kill me gets mad and sees me as a delicious snack, I'm going to spray it in the eyes with lemon juice. Because that feels great. Just to anger the thing. Yes. Like, I, I don't... I, that sound... From everything I know about wolves, and I, obviously not much, I'm not a wolf scholar, wolves are one of those animals that at any point could just decide, Yeah. I'm a wild animal. What am I doing here? So they, you look delicious. They take us in this area and they, you know, sit us down. And they're like, you need to remain seated. You know? <laughs> and, like, they're very adamant about this. But at one point, one of the wolves kind of just, like, runs off and starts howling, which starts the chorus. And, like, the trainers come over and they're like, you need to stay where you are. I'm like, well, this is how I go. Yeah, this yeah. is how I go. It's like the gray. <laughs> I, I literally just paid someone to kill me. Yeah. This is what this is. <laughs> And see, it's not even like, uh, 
It's not even like most wild animals where all I have to do to escape is break your ankle. Oh, no. No, there's lots of them. Yeah, well, we were in a uh, large area, and I think there were four full-grown adult wolves in there. Hmm. Uh, myself, my significant other, and a very tiny trainer who I don't think she could have done anything if to help us except spray the wolf with bittering agent. Mm. So, Ooh. And wolves, like, wolves are terrifying because, like, there's... The science done on them is much less impressive mm -hmm. than the personal stories you hear about people who've been cornered by wolves. True. Like people who accidentally wander into wolf dens. Yeah. They tell you the stories of what happened. Like there was, uh, I happened to catch one on a, on a Joe Rogan podcast. Two, um, two hunters had shot an elk, I believe it was. Okay. And they, they wounded it, didn't kill it. They were going in for the kill because that's what ethical hunters do and uh two wolves found it before they did and i think they they got chased off by the wolves ended up in the wolves den oh at which point they heard the alpha male basically what they say is they heard the alpha male sending in troops two by two he would call everyone would respond he would call again yep. two wolves would come in and that's what they don't say. Like, I have a, a Siberian Husky that's not my dog at home. I love my dog. You know, her face is right here. I ruffle her ears. She's fine. She's got that wolf look to her, though. But when you get there, and it comes right up to you, and its head is this big, and you're looking up at it, it it's a little unnerving. Just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. When you have, like, this beard and this hair, and they're like, I'm going to play with that. <laughs> Brother? <laughs> <laughs> that might squeak if I squeeze it hard enough. <laughs> poof, poof. I will say, like, uh, in my absence, though, I have started to, like, inherit some of your habits. Like, oh, of you course. You said you have a new phone. Your phone is better than mine at this point. Uh, my phone doesn't charge. Like, oh, I can yeah. plug it into a charging thing. Won't work. I have to plug it into a wireless charger to get it to charge now. That might actually be your charger. Nope. I've had those problems, too. I, I took it to the store that I purchased from. I'm like, listen, I can't get it to hold a charge. Like, I, I, I've tried multiple chargers. They tried at the store, and they're like, yeah... That charging port's damaged. You're going to need a new phone. I'm like, okay, I have insurance on this phone. I've been paying on it for like two years, this insurance towards it. Let's let's give me that new phone that you promised me if anything happened to this phone. I'm like, yeah, that's going to be like $400. I'm like, okay, so we're going to cancel this insurance plan now because that's worthless to me. Appreciate it. How much is a new phone going to cost me? I'm like, well, probably $600. I'm like, all right, so I'm not going to have a phone. So I'm like racking my brain how I can get around charging my phone without a charging port and a wireless charge. I'm like, maybe that'll work. So I'm like, would this work? And the guy's like, absolutely not. That will not work at all. Your phone's ruined. So I spent 20 bucks, took it home. It worked just fine. Yeah. I did go back to the store later and like waved it around. I'm like, look what I did without your help. I'm a big, strong man who can do things on my own. Uh, but my phone has like maybe four hours battery life. I can't charge it traditionally. Yeah. Uh, it, it is this doorstep and I don't care. Uh, are you able to open it? Open it? No. Yeah. No? Okay. Because I was going to say, there's there's battery shops where you can buy a battery for yeah. your phone. I've yeah. done that before. I've also had a phone that would only charge in my truck. Yeah. Uh, the screen's cracked. And, like, I'm just at a point in my life now where, like, I'm good for an upgrade anytime. I could get, like, the new top-of-the-line phone for, like, 70 bucks. And I'm just like, eh, maybe next month. Yeah. I've been saying that for, you know, like, six years now. Or six months now. Like, eh, maybe next Maybe month. next month. Maybe yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's how my life goes as far as those types of things are concerned. Mm -hmm. um, along those lines, the every time I turned on my computer, it would... Terrible, miserable. First time it happened, I was in a Starbucks trying to upload a video for the Dirty 30. I was like, I, I can't <clears throat> fall through with another promise. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do here, but it wouldn't stop. So I had to just turn it off. Yeah. I had to just turn it off and leave. Uh, after everyone in the Starbucks was looking at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I, I, I hate being that guy. Yeah. Um, so it turns out what that, what that god-awful sound meant was that the 2032 battery inside the motherboard was fried. You know what 2032 is? I have not the it's, slightest. It's a okay. round battery. Okay. Just a little, one of those little round ones. And it's a 2032 okay. is the size. Watch battery. So I was like, son of a bitch. That's all it is. And one in like four times, it would actually boot up. Yeah. It's just real slow. So 
I can't, what am I going to do? I'm going to take it to the library, boot it in my car, or the, boot it in the truck and then walk it in, you know? Like, what am I going to do here? Um, so I bought a 2032 battery. Okay. Did it work? Problem solved. Got out my screwdrivers. Oh my, that's breaking warranties. That's good. Opened it up. Breaking warranties, the computer's... Uh, Fair enough. Yeah. But you fix it yourself. Papa's got a brand new bag of tricks. Hey, look at this, we're making progress. Let me tell you the hardest part. So first off, to do it, you have to take off the back, take off the bottom, okay. right? Then you have to undo a bunch of stuff in there. You have to unplug the uh, motherboard, or the, okay. uh, what's it called that all your stuff's on? The hard uh, drive? Hard drive. Unplug the hard drive so it doesn't have any uh, charge in it. People with any tech knowledge right now are cringing, but carry on. Um, no, I got it done, baby. Don't... I'm proud of you. Look so what, what you have to do then, after you do all that, you have to flip it back over, take out the keyboard, okay. undo some screws otherwise, because they do it so you can't do anything to your computer yourself. Yeah. That's you have point. to know. I had a laptop once, and like for some reason the internet stopped working on it. I couldn't connect to the internet at all, no matter where I was. You had a little card in there that was wrong, right? No. No? And like finally I got to the point I had to take it to a shop. I'm like, listen, I don't know. I've tried everything. I can't get this to connect to the internet. And he kind of just looks at it and he turns it over the side and he clicks a switch. And he's like, there you go. Right on the side, like the corner, was a networking button where you could turn off your network or turn on your network. So I really? put it in my bag and turned it off. And like I played with it for months trying to figure this out. I'm troubleshooting things on my phone. And that's all it was. Just flip the switch. Really? Yeah. Didn't fix it myself. Tell you that much right now. I have to go to you know, the store and have somebody pay or pay somebody to do it. Wow. Yeah, that's my life. YouTube is a great tool for that. I'm terrible at fixing anything. I, I, it's always bad. Yeah. Always bad. You got anything else? No, nope, I'm good. You, you're, you're, that's uh, all that's happened in a year and a half. You're, yeah, that's it. That's it. I, I fixed grew my hair out. I went and lived with the wolves for a while. You fixed a computer. Nothing else has changed. That's fair. Yeah. Anyway, if you like this kind of thing, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe yeah, we, if you have not. Variety Hour needs a like. We haven't had Variety Hour in yeah, a minute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, if nothing else, for Dalton's return. Not for the fact of Dalton, but for the fact that you will see him get um, demeaned once a video, at least, uh, for the rest of his life. One of these days I'm going to start smoking in here.